Welcome back to Spokane Talks Live, Kent Adams. And uh, we've gone from journalist, actually we've gone from photographer to a realtor to a journalist, now to attorneys. Oh my. It's gone downhill, wow. hasn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're big time. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There was a big drop in this segment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan McNeese, you brought along today. Yeah, Woody Horn, our intern, Rule yeah. 9 intern from Gonzaga Law School. Okay. In his third I've year. heard they have a law school there. Yeah. They, Is it pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Gonzaga's doing a great job. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and somebody job. sitting at this table is on the law school board. Or I am. I've had the opportunity to be on the board of advisors for the last about five or six years, and uh, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of good. engaging conversation with uh, alumni and uh, folks involved in the law school. Okay, so I'm going to ask you on that note, where are things going? What changes are you seeing in the profession That's, and to be taught at yeah. the law school? Because sometimes, you know, teaching is one thing and then welcome to the real world, which right. you're experiencing as an intern, right? right. That, that question could be broken up into so many different pieces because probably the, the most critical question that has come to the law schools in the country has been the crisis in applicants uh, for graduate programs and specifically law. Okay. It dropped 50% in the really? last several years. So, no, why? Well, and that, that is the question. Uh, you can go back, of course, to 2008 and say, okay, the economy obviously okay. uh, was in major decline. Uh, and so incoming students potentially said, I'm going to have $150,000 in potential debt, right. whether it be law school, whether it be other graduate programs. Is this uh, a beneficial economic decision uh, for me to make this decision? To go yeah, to law do school? I take out the loans? Yes. Do it? Yeah. Will that job be there for me uh, after law school or another graduate program? So, what Gonzaga has faced, as well as law schools across the country, because it's not just a regional problem, right. is what can we do at, at Gonzaga Law, uh, whether it be alumni like myself or, or folks uh, on the ground, faculty, et cetera, is is differentiate yourself. Okay. What what does Gonzaga Law uh, have to bring folks to this area? And I actually asked this question of Woody when he first came on uh, as an intern for us. I said, "Why did you come to Gonzaga Law?" Right. I think. And so, what was the answer? Oh, there are a lot of factors to it. Um, I mean, being from South Carolina, the big one was just moving away as far as I yeah. could. So I did that. But <laughs> the other one, I mean, he asked. Um, how did I hear about it? And of course, it was the basketball team. Isn't ah, that okay. I mean, what you have a basketball team at <laughs> yes, GU? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I've only heard about the football team. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. But yeah, I mean, the basketball team just brought that name into my head. Okay. And, um, just because I knew it was up in Washington, I had an interest in Washington State. I looked at it and ended up applying and getting accepted. But I think I think he's a great example, though. Yeah. Of not only obviously some of the assets that the uh, that the Gonzaga University as a whole has, main campus and the law school, uh, the brand, the uh, the athletic department, but the geography of our area. Yes. We have a wonderful area that we live in, and I think yep. that's. Con w was that part of the package that was um, important to you? It, it definitely was, but at first I didn't really like Spokane. Hmm. Um, I just there was just some things I didn't like about it. Okay. But after the last two years, it's grown on me substantially. Okay. I mean, the area is just unbelievable. Um, yeah. I mean, not many places you get four seasons, like full true four mm -hmm. seasons. Right, right, right. right. I uh, think faculty has, has really tried to differentiate themselves by various programs that okay. identify with incoming mm -hmm. students, whether it's Woody coming from South Carolina and says, I'm into this type of law or I'm into this type of law, that schools – uh, tend to differentiate themselves in terms sure. of what they're known for. Their specialties, uh, if yeah. you will, right? Yeah. So what is your interest in terms of specialties? Um, definitely tort law. I, okay. I, I, I really like personal injury, products liability stuff. Mm -hmm. um, now, is that why you have tennis shoes on, so you can chase the ambulance? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I have them like you've never heard that before, yeah. right? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I know. I would never do that. <laughs> no. Yeah. But, but okay. So you... You applied and you got accepted? Accepted, Okay, yes. and then did you visit or had you visited? I, no, I, I did not. Um, really? It was just, it was very pricey to fly up. Mm -hmm. I, had to, I would have had to fly to Seattle and then take a uh, yes. uh, drove over here. Welcome to our world. Yeah, yeah. Um, and at the time it just wasn't feasible. Okay. Um, that's a point though. I'm, I'm yes. glad you mentioned that because that's a point we've discussed at, at, at meetings is uh, the importance of having the students get an opportunity to see the campus. Right, see, right. See what's here, yes. see what's Spokane has to offer, 
uh, and, and lum alumni in a lot of cases have jumped in to support that to bring the students here to see what okay, Gonzaga offers. Okay, good, yeah. good. I, I know uh, in talking back when Gabe Cohen was mm -hmm. here at uh, KHQ and now he's at Seattle, and, and the challenge was that he would have to get on two planes to go back to New York. Yep. Now being in Seattle, he can get on one plane. And the, wor the, the world has changed for him. That's right. That he's not doing this connection thing that don't right. always work, you know, and so forth. And so getting folks here and the cost and so forth, um, helping to cover that is important. A little more efficiency. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's definitely rough to go home, but with two or three layovers. But yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the temperature when you went home? I think you went home in July or August. in July. It was like 100 with 100 percent humidity. I was going to say it's yeah. the humidity yeah. that, that. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. So now, were you able to talk to family and friends and say, "I'm going back to where we have a humidity of 40 percent or 30 percent <laughs> or 10"? Right. My dad actually knows more about the weather up here than I do. Okay. Usually, I just open the door and I'm like, "Oh, it's cold. Go grab a jacket." But um, <laughs> he always. Uh, talks about how it's so hot down there yeah, and yeah. it's 70 degrees up here and I'm living the life. <laughs> okay, now where you lived, was it a big city? Was yeah, Columbia, okay. uh, capital. And oh, okay. it's, I okay. think, second, second largest city so, in the area. So coming to Spokane yeah. and Gonzaga, how was that adjustment? Um, the size of the city is, they're pretty much the same size. Okay, okay. Um, it's just, the, there's a lot more outdoor stuff out here, okay. which I didn't have back home just because who wants to go hiking in 110 degree weather, right? But, um, Brian. and, <laughs> but, That's uh, right. yeah, so it, it was a little bit of an adjustment, but nothing s substantial like okay. going to Seattle and okay. trying to like live there. Right, so. right. Yeah, not to mention I, I, costs and everything I else that go on. One thing, on. Uh, you coming up here to Gonzaga, one thing Gonzaga, uh, uh, I think does a great job at is with the law school curriculum that the faculty uh, formulates. They have their specific first year classes that are really bar prep courses that okay. will be tested on the bar. But then as you gravitate towards your second year and your third year law school, as Woody's in his third year, that's where they get to uh, pick and choose as the faculty mm -hmm. allows uh, these uh, really interesting uh, yeah. further classes that drill down into right. uh, practice areas. More specialized. Right. Yeah. Right. And Gonzaga's right. done a great job of that, bringing in adjuncts that are practicing those areas of law. Uh, so you can ask meeting. the people that are there doing yeah. it today, well, which Chris, is important. Chris yes. Craig in our office that right. you've had on the show right. uh, is a tax uh, specialist, and uh, he, he's an adjunct at okay. the school and, and provides that as well. So. Wow. So it's been a good experience. It's been a great experience. How's this guy to work for? Uh, he's a little rough, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's a loaded question. Yeah. 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 So, but uh, but the real question is, have you retrained him yet? <laughs> oh, they're working on all of yeah. them. Working yeah. On yeah. That. yeah. 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 Trying to that's it. Yeah, definitely trying to. Okay. That's an ongoing project. It is. A, it's okay. more than a year so, project. So what's new with you, Mr. McNeese? Oh, you know. Uh, Kicking off here in the fall, uh, back to school for our kids. And yes. A lot of activities, so uh, probably like And there's a theater folks. production coming up that yep. you're, in, you're involved yeah. in, uh, and you yep. and your wife? Yep. Uh, we've had the opportunity to sponsor uh, Chicago. And okay. we had Abby Crawford was on the show yes. the last couple of weeks. Yep. Uh, that starts here in the latter part of uh, On the 23rd, 23rd of September. It's my son's remember. birthday. That's, that's right. why that's I can right. remember. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I actually get a chance to go tonight and watch one of the rehearsals. So, oh, fun. Uh, I'll let Those you know are fun. Yeah. Those are fun to go to. Yeah. I remember back in uh, in high school, and uh, in fact, I was mentioning with our first guest today about shooting uh, photos of of Guys and Dolls, our senior oh, yeah. senior project yeah. uh, musical, and and to watch the rehearsal. And of course, we would take some pictures and so forth. And it was always fun because yeah. something would go wrong, of course, wow. and something would go right, and Let's do it this way. Live and theater. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, we're excited about that. Uh, Becky Wheeler, yes. she's doing the MS ride this weekend. Okay. So that's on the docket. Nice. Uh, Robin Haynes, uh, that's on our team. She's going to be sworn in as the president I, of the Washington State When Bar. does that happen? That is September 29th, okay. I believe. And uh, she takes over October? Is that what, or is it? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the 
Yeah. I'm glad you're right on top of these yeah, things. We're gonna have to look at this. Woody, she, let me ask you the question because yeah, he doesn't yeah. have well, no idea. Well, do you know the answer to that one? I know it's the 28th or 29th. Yeah. <laughs> no, she takes over. The, let's say she takes over on the 29th. But okay. we, as a as a team, we're all we're all going over at Seattle, so we'll have yeah. a good time. And over that, there. aren't you proud to have her absolutely to lead uh, and and two in a row from Spokane now? That's right. And so that's yeah, kind of Bill kind Hislop of fun. And now Robin. Yeah. Uh, and Robin's over at a speaking engagement, uh, I believe in Bellingham, yeah. uh, yesterday and today. Wow. Okay. So keeping busy. Yes. Yeah, so uh, McNeese Wheeler, and right. they can find you on Facebook and on the yeah. web at yeah McNeeseWheeler.com. Oh, what an original That's idea! Right. Yeah. And if they want a phone number, how would they reach you? We're at nine two eight forty one forty one. Okay, you remember that too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Guys, thank you very thank much. Thank you for having us. We're gonna us. take a quick we break. It. Good to have thank you here. You. We're gonna take a quick break, and we'll come back and talk about investing and things like that with Don Morgan in the Morgan Minute.